Hello, I'm Ming Hao from University of Science and Technology of China. I will introduce our paper, Multigranularity Residual Learning with Confidence Estimation for Time Series Prediction. And here is the, the outline. Let's start with the background. Time Series Prediction was contributes to accurately forecasting future values of time series given the past has attracted great attention from both academia and the industry. Along this line, most existing works are single granularity oriented, uh, which are developed on a specific granularity of time series data with the goal of predicting the labels at the same level. However, multi-granularity data, which usually provides complementary detailed information that is not covered in the original granularity data, is vital for making accurate predictions. Uh, for instance, when making invest investment decisions, uh, natural analysis usually studies the state of stocks extensively in different granularities, uh, such as weekly, daily, and uh, minute levels. Uh, since long-term cost grant features reflect overall trends, where short-term fine grant features indicate changes in small time windows, uh, both are crucial to prediction quality in a specific task. This motivates us to investigate, investigate how to leverage multi-granularity data to enhance the time series prediction task. Nevertheless, there are still some unique challenges. On the one hand, there is several information redundancy between different granularity data, uh, ignoring unical information in a certain granularity. Fine grain data usually cover the information of cost grain data, since cost grain data are often obtained by the aggregation of the corresponding fine grain data. Uh, taking the stock trending as an example, the daily highest prices are calculated from the highest prices of minute pre frequency data within the same day. Due to the uh, information redundancy, in the straightforward method that leverage multi-granularity data such as combination or ensemble can easily uh, lead to the model being dominated by the redundant cost grant trend information. And on the other hand, the uh, validity and the effectiveness of different granularity data usually change over time. Uh, intuitively, different granularity information has different effects on the final prediction of the target time granularity. Uh, we, we first formulate the learning problems. Um, most existing time series prediction methods use historical feature of single granularity to prediction future trends. Uh, namely single granularity learning, where the input and uh, output granularity are the same. Uh, the prediction model learns this function, uh, where x represents the features in the lag of past t time step uh, with dimension d. The time interval between time steps is uh, lambda. Multigranularity data contains rich detailed information that the uh, or original grand data don't have. Therefore, we propose not only use uh, the data with the same granularity as label, but also multiple using fi final grand data, uh, namely multi-granularity learning. We assume the causes the uh, granularity of the, of the feature is consistent with the label. Uh, formally, the model learns this equation. Uh, which maps the historical uh, multigranularity data to the future trend label space. For each granularity M, the data X, the data XM, uh, the data XM represents uh, features in the lag of past the T time step. At each time step T, uh, the X, XM T represents. Um, is, is, co is composed of features from K, Km equally divided time periods within one time step, whose time interval is lambda divided Km. Each time slot uh, contains D features. Uh, now we introduce our proposed method. 
in order to remove the redundancy and ensure that the input of each block is uh, uh, is uh, unical to a certain granularity, we we introduce a novel residual design between uh, uh, between each block, as shown in the figure. We take uh, two granularity as an example. First, the uh, the cost and the fine grain data uh, are obtained from the real data. Uh, we, we observe that the change patterns of, uh, of fine grain data are dominated by the trend information of the cost grain data, uh, making it become diff uh, becomes, diff becomes difficult uh, to, to be captured straightforwardly. Straightforwardly, nevertheless, given the cost grain data, we can get the uh, the the, the pure uh, knowledge of the fine grain data distribution, and we predict the possible uh, fine grain data given cost grain data. Then, by calculating the the residue, the residue between multigranularity data, the redundant information can be removed. Uh, and the, the unical fine grain change patterns can be easily captured. Uh, given the multigranularity data x1 to xm, uh, that x1 uh, to xm represent cost to fine uh, features. Uh, as stated as in the figure, uh, to, to fully export it, uh, the information of every granularity, the process contains several blocks, uh, namely the, the, the blue uh, rectangles with similar structures. And each block is responsible for learning information for only one granularity. Uh, we propose stacking the blocks uh, in a cascade way from cost to five and design a cross granularity residual learning method to ensure the input of each block only contains uh, unique information of a specific granularity. Uh, first, since the dimension of, of different real uh, granularity data are inconsistent, we first use a simple uh, linear transformation to align them to the same space. The equation is, uh, is showing like this. The function of uh, basic blocks is to learn granularity. Specific knowledge is architecture is expected in the uh, left part of the figure. Uh, the nth block accepts its uh, respective input, uh, in input PM, uh, and has two outputs, uh, RM and GM. And the the input PM uh, represents the de redundant feature embedding of the granularity M. We will uh, elaborate on the uh, de redundant process in the next slide. The output RM uh, aims to perform prediction according to the current granularity M, and the uh, and, and the output GM approximates the block's best estimate of the next granularity data, uh, F uh, M at one, uh, which indicates the information already learned by the model and uh, with the goal of helping the downstream blocks by removing the redundant components of their input that are not uh, helpful for forecasting. Uh, internally, the basic block consists consists of several components. The, uh, the first part is uh, the temporal representation net. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and this net is to further uh, encode the sequential features. Here we adopt a two-layer GRU. Uh, the, the, second, uh, the second part is prediction net, F predict. Uh, which takes the feature embedding uh, HM as input and the output the prediction results RM of the specific granularity M. Uh, another part uh, is the final grand reconstruction net F reconstruction. Um, this net 
of course, uh, final granularity is uh, as estimation GM to the next level's cost grant feature F uh, M at one. Here we use uh, two fully connected la uh, layer to model uh, F prediction and uh, F reconstruction. Um, we, we address the information redundancy problem by introduce a, a novel residual learning approach uh, as, as, uh, as, as traded in the yellow rectangle in the, fig, uh, in the figure. We hypothesize that the cost, grant, uh, the, the cost grant data itself has uh, prior uh, information about the distribution of fine grant data. Therefore, we uh, simulate redundant information by use uh, fine grain data reconstruction mm -hmm. from cost grain data. Specifically, uh, we let the, the granularity uh, the, the, the granularity estimation GM, re, re, uh, GM to reconstruct the feature of granularity uh, M at well. Then the, the block uh, M at well removes the redund redundant period signal that the previous block can X max well. Uh, making the downstream blocks focus on learning the final uh, granularity specific knowledge. We, we formulate the uh, cross granularity residual learning process as, as this equation, uh, where the PM represents the redundant uh, input of block M. Uh, we, we use the loss uh, L, uh, L re re reconstruction, um, which makes the the, F, uh, the FM and the, the GM minus one as similar as possible to ensure the final grand reconstruction net can obtain the redundant uh, pure si signal. Uh, in order not to uh, affect the fine grand information extraction process, when, when uh, optimizing the equation, we fix the process of extracting uh, fine grand information F and only optimize the GM minus one. Then the, the, final predict, uh, the final prediction result can be obtained by the uh, average prediction result of each granularity data. Uh, combining the, the MSE loss of, predict, of prediction task and the reconstruction loss of, uh, in the cross granularity residual uh, learning process and the, the regularization term, we reach the following loss function. Uh, since the effectiveness of different granularity data of future trends is also dynamic, therefore we propose estim estimating uh, the confidence of different granularity data as a learnable process to enhance the basic uh, framework. Intuitively, uh, the more the, the more uh, um, continuous of uh, the data trends on a certain granularity in the near future, the higher the confidence of uh, future prediction using this granularity. Thus, we can estimate the effectiveness through the continuity of different granularity data itself over time. Uh, since there is no direct ground truth label, we construct additional self supervised signal relying on the inherent characteristic of time series data. As shown in the figure, um, the confidence estimator is placed, is placed at, the, at the basic block introduced in the previous slide. Uh, it, it outputs a score, um, a score estimating the confidence of the predict, prediction of, uh, for a specific granularity. Uh, we take advantage of mutual information to, uh, me to, to measure the, uh, uh, the consistence of each granularity data. Uh, if, uh, if the historical trend of a certain granular data has a relatively large mutual information with the current state, it indicates that the historical information of the granularity data may be more helpful to future uh, prediction results. In this work, we atlas a, a contrastive learning loss function to train the 
a confidence estimator, and we at last optimize the discriminator um, to estimate the confidence of each granularity data. Then we, then, then we at last a soft max uh, layer to normalize the confidence value. Um, then, then we combine the constructive loss to try the uh, confidence estimator, and then we can rewrite uh, the overall loss function in the previous page and reach the following loss function. We conduct experiments on a real world SS to verify the flex flexibility of our pro uh, proposed mo uh, model. The, the, the UC electricity cons consumption data set, uh, uh, the data set uh, collects the electricity consumption every 15 minutes of 321 times from 2012 to 2014. The granularity of input feature is one day, 12 hours, four hour, one hour, and 15 minutes. We also collect a stock sequential consists of one minute uh, high frequency statics over the stocks from the major stock index CSS 300. Sorry, Min, you, uh, you should wrap up soon. Uh, the, the baseline we compared can be categorized into four groups. And we adopt the correlation RMSE and MAE as evaluation metrics. Uh, overall, our proposed uh, framework substantially achieves the best results on two data sets and three uh, evaluation metrics. Uh, we also uh, conduct some experiments to study the effectiveness of the cross granularity residual learning net and uh, how granularity choices affect model performance. The detailed uh, experiment results can be found in our paper. Uh, and, uh, to, to intuitively explore the effecting, effectiveness of the, fine grant, uh, the, the uh, of the confidence estimation machine, we estimate the changes uh, in confidence weights of some clients in the FCCC data set. Um, and, and here is some the, uh, here are some uh, case studies. Uh, we make a conclusion is that uh, first we present a focused study on multigranularity data for chem theories prediction task. And we propose a novel uh, cross granularity residual learning net to remove the semantic overlap inherent in multigranularity data for better information exploration. Uh, and the experiment. Uh, experiment results on real world data sets clearly val validates the uh, the, the superiority of our framework in prediction accuracy compared with the state of the art methods. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Min, for the very nice talk. Um, unfortunately, uh, since the talk went a little bit over time and we are, we're running on a very tight schedule, um, I would ask everyone to keep their questions for, for after the session. May I have a question? Um, okay, okay. Yes, sure. What, one quick question. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the fine grant data usually covers the uh, information of uh, coarse grant data. And how do we understand that? Can you give us uh, some examples? Um, for, for, for example, for the stock data, uh, they are the highest price of a uh, stock and uh, the mm, the the, the, the minute pre, uh, frequency uh, highlights the data, uh, uh, the, 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 daily, the daily frequency uh, highlights the price data can be obtained by the aggregation of the uh, minute frequency level. 